It takes a big building to house a mighty machine like the Advanced Photon Source, or APS, which gives researchers at Argonne National Laboratory a microscopic view of the front line of the war against COVID-19. The APS is, uh, you can think of it as a x-ray microscope. What we do is we produce extremely bright x-rays with a central facility that then is fed to a number of different x-ray beam lines where our researchers actually do their work. The goal is to aid the scientific community's frantic scramble for an effective COVID-19 vaccine and drugs to treat those who contract it. To do so, Steven Streifer and a team of hundreds are using the APS to decode COVID-19 proteins. Those proteins are what makes the virus function. And if we can interrupt the function of those proteins, then we can create drugs that can treat the, uh, the infection. Streifer says the work at Argonne is pre-competitive. What they find is available to the broad medical community working to create a vaccine and other drugs. We're interfacing with both a number of pharmaceutical companies, but also the broader research community. So this information is open to all. The APS is one weapon in Argonne's arsenal in the pandemic battle. Another is one of the most powerful supercomputers in the world, Theta. What we can do with the supercomputers is we can screen 4 billion drug compounds to see if they have any effect on the virus and do that in a matter of weeks. Uh, to do that without the supercomputers would literally take you years. While Theta is running those calculations, computer modelers are also using the machine to anticipate the spread of COVID-19. So for the city of Chicago, what our modelers have done is uh, essentially created um, a computer simulation with uh, individual entities in that computer simulation that represent individual people in Chicago. Just representations, not real people, not real attributes. Where for a given set of assumptions, we project what the future f uh, would be for the progression of of COVID-19. Charles Makel, a senior systems engineer, says the detailed information Theta provides underscores the importance of simple but highly effective things everyone can do to curb the spread of the virus. Uh, the single most important thing that we've identified is the importance of people to adhere to protective behaviors. Things like wearing masks, social distancing, washing hands. Argonne Stephen Streifer says research conducted at the facility has helped guide decision makers in Illinois over when to impose restrictions and how to safely reopen the state's economy. So we're providing information directly to the governor's task force. We're also working very closely with the city of Chicago as one of our major partners so that they're using that information to develop policies that uh, we hope will help and get us back to a state where we're doing the right things to keep people safe but doing it in a way which is minimally disruptful to the economy. While currently focused on Illinois, Argonne is developing the capability to apply the model to other cities and regions, including those currently seeing dramatic increases in the number of new COVID-19 cases. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago, Illinois.